In this movie I'm going to show you how to import this PDF file, how to quickly make it into a mesh, and how to create the contours so that they actually go directly on top of the mesh as you can see here. So stay tuned, let's get started. It's such a quick trick, it probably should be illegal. Here's my site plan, so I'll pull that in. I need to check to make sure it's the right size, so I'm going to calibrate this. We're going to go, select it first. So, edit, reshape, and resize. I use this a lot, and I'm going to resize my site. Now I don't know if it's the right scale or not, so I'm going to zoom in. I want to click on that corner there, zoom out, come up to this corner here. It's 20.61 meters. I need to remember that. Click at this corner here, start moving. 20610 meters. So 2610 millimeters. Enter. So I now know this is calibrated the right size. There we are, so I've got my entire PDF file. Now what I need to do is I need to start using some of these tools here. I need to create uh, some site boundaries. I need to create a mesh. And what I'm going to do is to right click on here. This is so cool, this one. Explode into current view. Don't keep the original. OK. And I've now got uh, this as a polygon or a polyline. So I've exploded my PDF. It was a vector-based PDF, which means it had lines in it. Now I can use my CI tools. These make it so quick. So I create boundaries from polygon, OK, there they all are. I'm going to change those. These boundary objects want to be a custom daylight angle. And now where I live, it's three meters on the boundary, 45 degrees with an offset of one meter. And so there I've got all that information already. Now I can go up to here and I can go CI tools again, sites, and I need to create a mesh from the boundary. And there's my mesh from the boundary. It's so quick. Now I'm going to spend a little bit of time. I'm going to go around to each of these corners and just check the elevation of each of these corners here. So the elevation of that should be... So now what I need to do is to bring in my contour lines through here. So I'm going to use my, first of all I have to select my mesh, it's selected now. You can see here it's selected. I need to get my mesh tool and then I can use my space bar and I can click on that polyline. Okay, so now that I've got that contour line what I'm going to do is to click on this one. Just check that, that should be 13 meters and I'm going to choose apply to all and it should apply to all the ones on that contour line. So my site is still selected, my mesh tool and space bar, that one, fit to user ridges. And let's get into that one. So select that point. This should be 13500. Now just notice that only the nodes on that contour line are selected, so I can choose apply to all. Uh, this contour line's there by mistake, so I'm going to ignore that one. So choose my mesh, mesh tool, and space bar that one fit to user ridges zoom in and click on that one that should be 14 meters exactly apply to all i've got the next one so select that select my mesh tool space bar on that line let's say so we got that one 14500 apply to all Sometimes you've got to be careful that you've actually got two dots quite close together. So just look out for those. Back to this one, mesh tool, space bar, fit to use the ridges. So I'm just going to do a couple of them now. There's not many left and there's one just up here as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and check this one. So that height there, click on this one and that should be 15 meters exactly. Apply to all. This one, click on one of those, 15500, apply to all, and this one, 16 meters. Cool, just check it in 3D, make sure it looks okay. There's nothing untoward. 
looks like I've got a great contours there they're all there's nothing sort of unusual there's something a little weird here so this one here's a little strange there's actually two different heights here so I need to go back and look for those so there's in here somewhere there's two points there they are there now I can click on that one and I can move that node to that point and it should get rid of it for me so when we go back to the 3d that's it it's fixed it you might notice it's a shallow slope on this side because the contours are far apart steeper on this side because they're closer together that's fantastic so I've got mostly what I want let's go back to the ground floor so I'm going to select my mesh again CI tools and before I do this I do need to change my settings so I need to send this mesh which is currently on ground floor I need to send it to my sea level that puts it at that point I need to select all of these objects here these are all my boundary objects I'm going to use the old trick which is to select the object tool then go command A or control A select all and then I can send all of those again to my sea level let's go back to my sea level have a look so there it is there everything's there so object tool still select all so that selects all my boundary objects they want to be on the DES site boundaries cool and also control T I really want these to be visible on the home story and one story up so I can see them when I create my site plan on my ground floor so there it is there you can see those very small objects in there these polylines are actually quite useful later on so I'm going to leave those but this text that I've got here not as useful so if I select my text tool select all and then I can go control T and set the size of that text at the moment it's quite big 27 millimeters so I'm going to make it five millimeters it'll get quite small you'll also notice there are some white boxes here so there are some white boxes in these areas here uh, where the contour line there it is there that's one of those white boxes they will be better if I delete them they were just boxes that were around the text and you can see the cursor changes when I get near those boxes this text here is going to be better if I put it up in this area here out of the way I'm going to put all of my contour text up here on outside my site let's just put it all there just this contour line is no longer needed get rid of that I didn't want to use it anyway uh, this is my 14 meter contour line there 13 there and I should really rotate these and later on I'll rotate these to the correct angles and there's a 12.5 somewhere this one here bring that one and put it there as well this bit of text here I don't need it just have a look to make sure you're not selecting something that you don't want and don't forget to use this method which will only select objects that are totally enclosed so I'm using this shape here this cursor so I got my scale at 1 to 50 now for printing this it's going to be 1 to 200 you'll now notice that the text has grown substantially I don't need that text I don't need these big blocks of text on here so now I can start to select my mesh let's go back to my sea level select my mesh I'm going to create my envelope again using CI tools I'm going to place my building envelope and it creates a three-dimensional site for me so this was really cool this ability to create your 3d site and now I see my restrictions and I can start to build my house for this project I need to change my settings I need between the sea level and the next floor up I need that 14 and a half meters and what that means is that when I go to my ground floor and start drawing it will be exactly at the right height you watch if I put a slab in here I uh, just put in a quick slab let's look at this in 3d and you can see there's my slab at the correct elevation relative to my building so there's a couple of tricks in here that you can use even if you're not using the CI tools once you've got your mesh using that trick with the space bar it works really well and it gives you your contours it's fantastic 
Have you really got something out of this movie? Hey, yeah, but give me a thumbs up, give me a like, so that other people can find this movie more easily. If you really got something out of this movie and you really want to support me, what about a super thanks? It really helps me to carry on making these movies. Thanks for watching.